All right, welcome everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Uh, check me out on anthonysmoke.com, on Twitter at Anthony Smoke, and subscribe here on YouTube to my uh, channel. So uh, today we are talking Excel, and I think everyone has a love-hate relationship with Excel, but I want to give you a solid tip here that will help you fall back in love uh, with Excel, uh, at least temporarily. So we're going to be talking approximate string matching or fuzzy lookups. And I think this is a solid tip. Everyone loves doing the visualizations, of course, and most of my videos are on visualization, but sometimes you gotta roll up your sleeves and, and get some of that data cleansing done. So uh, we're gonna show you how to do that in Excel. So the first thing you'll wanna do is find the Microsoft uh, fuzzy lookup add-in for Excel. I just did a search on download a fuzzy lookup add-in. This is what the Microsoft site looks like as of today. You're gonna wanna download download uh, hit the download button here and what it will do it will give you an option here fuzzy look up uh, as you can see and I'll show you what to do with that uh, later but first um, I've got these two tabs here right so let's pretend in our hypothetical here we're gonna pretend this is the golden copy right this is reference data I've got some company IDs this isn't real data it's just mocked up uh, data and I've got some companies that uh, you know the uh, that our hypothetical company does business with right so you know I've got some uh, some heavy hitters out of Atlanta UPS Delta uh, Home Depot uh, Coca-Cola we can pretend our hypothetical company does business uh, with with all of these companies and then I've got user entered data, right? So for instance, Delta Air, right? Whereas our reference data is Delta Airlines Inc. And I wanna match up this, uh, this data entry company name to our official golden copy uh, company name, right? So uh, I, want, I want this list of companies out of our data governance nightmare here to match back to our, uh, our golden copy. So what you want to end up doing here is I've got an I've got a, a third tab which I'm calling results it's blank and I'm gonna hit uh, fuzzy lookup and so the first thing you'll notice it's asking for left table and right table so what is that right so you'll have to go to your your two sets of data and I'm gonna put my, my cursor here I'm gonna hold down shift uh, you know to this last uh, to cell d36 here and I'm gonna hit control L and what that does is it creates a table right and you want to make sure my table has headers is clicked if you have headers I'm gonna say okay and I can call that let's call this uh, golden copy uh, for the table name right oh sorry can't have any golden copy no spaces there we go <laughs> so we've got that we have a table which we're calling golden copy and then this guy right here, I'm going to hold down shift all the way down to the bottom and then control L once again. Table has headers. Okay. And then we want to call this, um, let's call this user, user entries. All right. And there we go. Mikey likes it. And we have the fuzzy lookup up now, so I can select left table, golden copy, right table, user entries, great. And so I wanna do a match now. I wanna match on my company name from the golden copy to uh, obviously the only column that I have here uh, in, in user entries, right? And so once I do that, I'm gonna hit this button in the middle, all right, it puts that there. And now down at the bottom, uh, these in my output I can decide what uh, what columns I want to show so I'm going to keep everything selected uh, even this uh, fuzzy lookup similarity score that you're going to get and so uh, I always like to start out maybe at about a point seven or so right uh, when I go back to results you put your cursor where you want the results to show and you hit go and let's just highlight this out here spread this out you'll see uh, here's the golden copy, United Parcel Service, and it found a match, right? United Parcel Service, uh, UPS in parentheses, right? And you get the similarity score, 95, uh, I assume that's a 95% uh, match, so it's, it's pretty certain that that is a match. But I do have some holes, right? So what I can do is I can, I can bring that down, bring that down from 70, let's go to 60, 
put my cursor back here. I'm going to say go. And it's filled in some more. I've still got some blanks. And, you know, you can keep moving this down. Let's go with uh, 50. Obviously, the lower you go, the worse the quality of the match. And so, okay, I've got my cursor there. I'm going to say go. Uh, I'm filling in some more. That's great. But, but you get the point here. Uh, it's making some solid guesses. So Delta Airlines, Inc., Delta Air, great. Uh, Adobe Systems, Inc., Adobe Sys, Inc. You can see I'm getting some matches. Uh, I've got, uh, you know, this, this is an exact uh, match, genuine parts to genuine parts. So that's why it's, it's 100%. And so I can keep, you know, throttling this down until I get matches. Uh, I can have more than one match if, if I wanted to. And even in... Um, you know, there, there's uh, advanced options in here to configure. You can go, if, you, if you're doing social security numbers, there's some, some other options in here. I invite you to play around uh, with some of these uh, settings. And one last uh, tip, if you want to uh, get rid of your table, you don't want it in table form anymore. So if you, if you click anywhere in your table and go to design and click convert to range, you want to convert the table to a normal range? Yes, that will get rid of your table. So um, in any event, I hope you found this tip uh, useful. Take this tip, get out there and do some good things with your data. Thank you for watching, everyone.